morning guys. Out on the line again just after Christmas. And uh, the balmy spring morning in the north. It's uh, 34 below this morning. We left the house. I just wanted to show you this a beautiful blue sky here. That's the coolest looking. Heavy, heavy more frost on everything from the last few days before it turns into cold. It's a pretty day out in the Northland. So we'll get down the trail and check some traps and see what we can catch. Get down there. Hey guys, we're uh yeah, on the trail here always. I'm at the second link set. Just snowshoeing the trail in through the snares and whatnot. And right here we have ourselves a nice kitty cat. Where are you hiding? Right there. Just caught by a couple of toes on the back paw. I'm going to get a snare on him here and choke him out. Well, maybe not a happy camper. I can't blame him. I'm going to break this off and find a, a branch I can attach a snare to to And I, can, I just heard wolves howling in behind me Actually, they're right out in front of me that way. Not too far away either. Anyways, we'll get this guy taken care of and uh, move on down. Good. Here we're back. I got that. I went up to the rest of the snares. Right in there. So this is a nice big cat. But like all of them, yellow in the belly. But good catch for the second set of the day. I can handle that. Alrighty, I'll see you down the trail. Hey guys, just gonna run in and check this. Uh, this is where I caught that Martin that was live last, I think, two trips ago. And it was nothing in. Oops, fresh Martin tracks right here. Nothing in that set though. But, oh, Martin trap sprung. You got him. Frozen. Oh, yeah. Nice big, big male Martin. Beauty. Good dark color. I'll uh, shoot. I forgot to bring a trap with me, so we'll get him out of here and I'll run back in with a trap and reset this thing. Check the bait. Okay, bait again. Oh, and you notice this here trail, I got cut through the thing in there. I get fox and whatnot crossing sometimes. 
for following the trail, but I don't see no snares here because there's almost always deer coming through here too, so I don't we need to catch them so we can just set snares for those guys somewhere else. Alrighty, get down the trailways. Guys, I just wanted to show you this real quick here. We're in the almost January 1st, and we got this tree here that is absolutely destroyed by moose. So obviously this is a full moose and he's trying to get his it looks like he's just diving too. He's trying to get his antlers off. So uh, that would be cool if we found him down the trail. A couple years ago on one trip in here about this time of year I found three moose antlers right on the skidoo trail on the one day. If you need it find one here. Well, just down the trail about a quarter mile from where I showed you that moose rub. You see uh, got two more here. But now we're on the problem. You see this here? That drag mark, that drag mark, that drag mark over there. Now I really hope this didn't drop the horns because he's got my, my ram power snare hooked onto his horns, I think. Well, anyways, it looks like this is as far as he went off the trail. So when I, on my way back, I'm going to see if I can track him. Maybe he'll get tangled up somewhere and drop the... Not like it'll hold him, but he'll maybe drop his antler. So, anywho, good times. That's a first for me. Now there's just a continuing sag of the moose. Look at this here. One, I'm only about 200 yards past the last of the video. Two, three, four. I can bed it down there for a bit. It looks like he's really getting pissed off about having the snare stuck on his horns. And he's just trampled everything here. I want to see if we can find something up ahead. Hey guys, just uh, I'm gonna drop a fox snare in here and then another one up the trail a ways. This is a little side trail, goes about a mile off um, to a small pond where I have a couple martin traps along the edge. But um, there's been fox tracks up and down this trail the last two times, and so I'm gonna drop a fox snare in here and see if we can snag something. Alrighty, I'm also gonna video this just. Uh, everybody how I set one up so all right now the only thing I don't like about doing this with the fox snares is that every time I come by now I gotta redo all these sticks here remember when I'm setting traps the snares everything is designed to waste as little time as possible because I don't have a heck of a lot of it. So there we go. <coughs> Up there is how I throw a fox snare in real quick on a on a skidoo trail. Alrighty. We'll head down the trail here a little ways. I'm going to drop another one in just about a, another quarter mile here, just close to the junction of the main trail. Hey guys, we're down the trail a bit here. We're just going to, we're stopping right over here, you see. Let me see if I can pull it up. Right there. You can see the Martin box, and we have the traps not set, but we can't see if there's anything in there, so we're just gonna, I'm bringing the trap just in case it's not just sprung or a squirrel, you know what I mean?
Oh, a lot of mark. Ooh, nice. Suitcased perfectly. Big nail. Beautiful looking. Yeah, you know they're the chocolate brown ones. When you see them, the dark fur with a little bit of white fur or hair sticking out. Those are the really dark ones. Put right on. Beauty animal. Just caught perfectly. And we'll get him uh, out of here and move on down. That's Martin number two and the Lynx. Hey guys, we're down at the end of that new area that I broke trail into last week. Long skinny lake. Beaver house right there. This is a uh, about six miles around to this point from where I have a trail blazed right from there through the bush. I got to cut out about half a mile, and then I can just do a loop back onto my main trail instead of backtracking the whole six miles again. And here we have a. Really nice big male martin in uh, this box I just put out. Oh, it's not a super big male, which looks like a juvenile male. So, anyways. And uh, <coughs> when I'm setting my martin traps, there's lots of squirrel and some weasel traps down there too. But when I'm setting my martin traps, you get into a bush like this as black spruce, and you won't often find branch is strong enough to hold a catch if you know you happen to get a fisher in one of these sets so then this what I do here I just uh, wire a pole between two normally what I do is I nail one <coughs> but I didn't have any nails with me when I put this in and then I'll wire the other one never nail both of them because when it gets windy and these trees start moving the uh, one of the nails will pull out um, from the tree movement. So if there's one that's wired, or if both of them wired, you have some movement there with uh, out pulling it out. So but anyways, another nice, there's three beautiful Martins so far today. Looking good. I mean, I don't have a lot of traps left. I got one more on this down here. On the other end of the lake, I had a, a link set because a link had crossed right at the beaver dam. Last time I was out and I put a lynx set in there and the, the lynx crossed again, but he, well, I guess he just went a little bit upwind of the set or something, but didn't go near it anyways. I'm going to drop a couple snares in there on the way back, so good to go. You guys see here, we missed a, a marten. I had this fine squirrel in the trap, and uh, you can see right here, real fresh marten tracks. Coming right up to it, so that was a real fresh one. Maybe he's still around. We'll get him on the next trip. So you never did find that moose horn yet, but uh, with my snare attached. But we'll keep looking, and who knows? He's hanging on that trail, tearing everything up pretty good. And uh, not that I don't appreciate him trimming off all the branches along my trail. It's kind of saves me some work. But hopefully I'll find my snare again. Hey guys, end of the day here in back of the truck. Ended up just the three martins and the lynx, which is, well, I shouldn't say just, that's a, I'm quite happy with that. Um, the Out of the last nine martin traps I checked, five of them had martin tracks, like very fresh within, you know, 20 feet of the bait. So, but none of them committed to it, and I was hoping to get one more, because that would have tied me for last year. Right now I'm one behind, and last year was, well, it's just been better every year since I started trapping here, just only three years now, so. Um, so hopefully I'll, I'll break 50 Martin this year, which is quite good for the size of this trap line. 
here. Anyways, packing up and heading home for some supper. Alrighty, keep your boots dry, guys.